Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? I just want to share with you all um, some conversation that I had with my sister, Danica, who is D Hill here on um, YouTube. And on Twitter, she is Closet Elements. But um, Sunday after church, she came back to our house, as quite often uh, my family will do, come to my house and we hang out eat, talk, and one of our favorite subjects is relationships. And my husband came in and sat with us and um, and whenever he comes to sit with us, because normally if my family comes over, my, especially if I'm sitting with me and my sisters, he'll make himself scarce because he's like, I ain't sitting up amongst y'all women <laughs> yapping y'all mouth. But every now and then he will come in and sit with us and when he does we love to take our opportunity to hear things from a man's perspective so Danica asked uh, my husband and me she asked both of us um, why do you now hopefully she doesn't mind me sharing this I didn't check with her first but hopefully she doesn't, doesn't mind and she asked um, why do y'all think I'm not married and um, I said which is uh, the whole crux of this video and I told her in my opinion uh, there are probably two reasons now who knows you know I, I don't I can't I don't know for sure these are just my this is just my from my perspective and I told her and I think there are two reasons the first reason is I told her this Danica is 36 I believe I believe Danica is 36 It'll be 37 in November and I told her when she was about 20, she was about 30. She was about 30 years old and we were talking about marriage. And I told her, Danica, more than likely you're gonna be like me. You're gonna get married later in life. I said, I'm 30, I was 38 when I got married. More than likely you're gonna be around 38, 40 when you're married. And I can remember her then saying, Deidre, please do not say that. That is such a long time from now. But time goes by so fast She'll be 37 in November. So I told her first and foremost, remember that conversation we had, Danica, about six, almost seven years ago when I told you more than likely you're going to be like me, get married at age 38. And sometimes when we think we should have something sooner than we should, God says not so. And if we are allowing God to order our steps, because truly she could be married, she could find someone to marry her. But if you're truly allowing God to order your footsteps, then God is not giving you any junk. He's preparing that man for you. But in the meantime, he's also preparing you to be that wife. Because why is he going to present you as a queen to his king, to a king, and you're not that queen? You know, God is not per, um, presenting um, trash to a king. And he's not uh, presenting a trash to a queen so anyways um that was that was one of the things but the other reason which is the whole idea of this um, video i told her that she's also filling her life with seat fillers seat fillers are people who are often paid to come in and fill up a room either at a movie theater or an event just to make that event look successful to make that event look um, well attended so a lot of times seat fillers will fill up a theater and and they might not even be interested in what's really pl playing they're basically interested in the reward they're interested in the cash and I told her that I, I feel that she's filling her life with seat fillers because quite often I told her with the exception of the person that um, she was going to marry, her fiance. If y'all remember a while ago, maybe a year or so ago, she and I did a video, gonna get married, she was gonna get married, but that didn't work out. But with, with the exception of him, um, she, she, I know she really loved him. He appeared to love her. They had great com compatibility that um, other than that one person, all the other guys to me that she, she has dealt with and is dealing with um, have been mostly seat fillers. Um, there are people that she's dealing with because, you know, she's lonely. And Lord knows I've been there, done that. Like I said, um, I've been lonely. You know, I've, 
I was married at age 38, so I had many lonely days. Um, but I had a daughter to fill up my life. So I didn't deal with the seat fillers. I, I did not deal with the seat fillers. But since she doesn't have a child, anybody that has a child know a child can fill your life up to where you have no room for much else. So between working, being a single mom, working hard, 12, 14, 16 hours a day, raising my daughter, I didn't have room for seat fillers. But I definitely experienced many lonely days. So I understand a woman using seat fillers to fill the time. Who, who among us does not want to wake up and hear, hello, beautiful, or receive a text, hello, beautiful, enjoy your day? Who among us doesn't want to have someone to call during lunchtime and tell them, you know, about their day thus far. Um, who among us doesn't want to have that lay your head down on that pillow having spoken with somebody who cared about your day or somebody that you could listen, you know, you could talk to or text with or uh, Skype with or, or, or talk or have a date with. Who among us does not want to be touched, you know, who does not want to um, be told that you're, you're sexy, you're beautiful. Um, there's there are not, there are not very many of us who do not want that. And so I definitely understanding wanting those things, desiring those things, yearning for those things. However, because you have a desire, a yearning, a want, even maybe a need for those things, don't fill your life up with seat fillers. I went on to tell Danica that quite often seat fillers like I said they're just there because they've been asked to be there or they've been paid to be there but when the people who are really interested in the event or the movie or whatever and come in there might not be any room for them because the room or the theater is filled with seat fillers so I said you need to leave space for the real interested people you need to leave space for um, the, for the man that God is preparing for you because for the man who um, is being prepared for you or who might walk up to you or who might be interested in you, um, you somebody else is filling that seat but the person that's filling the seat you know within your heart is not the one. I can remember uh, dating this guy of course of course long before my husband and I got married but I was dating this guy I don't know if you know you want to call it a date. I don't, I was seeing this guy, y'all, because we weren't dating. Dating is you come pick me up, take me out sometime, and we never did that once. Um, we did go, we had certain, we, we loved to go yard selling. We went yard selling together. Uh, we we loved to watch movies, so we came to the house, we watched movies. Uh, so we hung out, and we spent time together. But dating, no, we weren't dating. Ladies, don't fool yourself. If a man does not come pick you up and take you to the spot, pay for it, and bring you back home, you are not dating. Call it what you will or may. Y'all hanging out, y'all seeing each other, y'all friends with benefits, call it what you may, but you are not dating, okay? Anyway, so, yeah, we were just seeing each other. But we were interested in each other. I, you know, I liked him or whatever. But, um... After a while, I learned that a lot of things about him I did not like. Therefore, I cut it off, cut it out. You know, I, I just cut it off with him because I did not want to waste my time with a seat filler. So a lot of times, and, and he even, he thought that it was about something totally different because um, he worked in like, I forgot what kind of, some kind of warehouse. He, like he worked on a warehouse and he also on the side, he worked um, for cleaning service where he would clean buildings and things. And at that time, I had a good job and was making good money and taking and had a nice house, nice vehicle, taking good care of my daughter. Um, you know, so he thought it was about he wasn't good enough for me. And oh my goodness, that could not have been further for further from the truth. Um, that had nothing to do with it. It just said. I knew there were certain things I did not like about him. When I started to learn that he likes to gamble, when I started learning that he smoked, I did not know he smoked uh, at first. Um, when I started learning different things about him, I was not going to waste my time with a seat filler. So I cut it off with him. But that's what a lot of us are doing because we are lonely. And I don't want to take that lightly because loneliness can be a killer. Y'all, there were times that I would feel so lonely 
I would think to myself, I'm dying inside. And nobody knows it but me. Nobody knew it but me because I kept a smile on my face. Because I wore nice clothes, because I had a nice house, because I drove a nice vehicle, because I was raising my daughter and she wore nice things, because I was going on cruises, because I had girlfriends. Believe me, part of me was happy. Part of me was very happy. But then there was another part of me, like I said, that was dying inside and nobody knew it but me. I know I've been there. I understand stand loneliness. Y'all don't come to y'all and tell y'all about something that I don't know anything about. I know about loneliness. Loneliness can kill and quite often we will take almost anything from a man just to quell that loneliness. But ladies, it doesn't work, does it? You take this stuff from men. You do things for them that you would not ordinarily do. You take things you would not ordinarily take just to kind of quell the loneliness, to calm the loneliness, to to help with the loneliness. And then when you're apart from him, the loneliness is still there because you know in your heart that he's a seat filler. You know in your heart that he's not treating you the way you want to be treated. You know in your heart that he's not loving you the way you desire to be loved. You know in your heart that he is not committed to you. You know in your heart that he is not the one. Or even if you feel like he is the one, you know in your heart that he's not feeling you as the one. So I understand that, like I said, we desire to have all those things that I mentioned before, but don't waste your time with seat fillers. When you do that, you do not leave room for who God has for you. You do not leave room to grow into the woman that you are meant to be for that man. Because quite often we're looking at what we want in a man, but we have to turn that around and look at what it is that we want to present, be able to present to that man. Because quite often what we want in a man and what we are presenting ourselves as don't measure up. It's not equal. It's like what we want in a man. We want a man that got this, 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 and this, and this. And he'll do this, this, and this, and this. But what are we offering? What are we bringing to the table? I, I know we have unlimited capacity to love is one thing that we bring to the table. But you, have, you need more than that. you got to have confidence. you got to have kindness, thoughtfulness. A resourcefulness. You need to be resourceful, um, independent, happy, joy. You cannot depend on a man for happiness. And when you depend on a man for happiness, you scare a man. You run him away because you, you, it's like you, you are like you can't live without him, and you scare him away. A man wants to join with the woman who's got it going on, and he's like, "Oh, I got. I want to be a part of that." So ladies, let's fill ourselves up with God. Let's fill ourselves up with raising our children to be the best citizens and children of God that they can be. Let's fill ourselves up with our careers and with education. Let's fill ourselves up with love for ourselves. Let's fill ourselves up with confidence. Let's fill ourselves up with good friends and camaraderie and rapport with other women who can be supportive and who is on that same mind level that you are. Let's fill ourselves up with family, but don't allow yourselves to be filled up with seat fillers. Okay. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed.